In this presentation, we will continue to allocate expenses to categories. Get ready because here we go with zero. Here we are in our not-for-profit organization dashboard. We're going to jump on over to Excel to see what our objective will be. We're going to be continuing on to allocate our expenses out. So you'll recall down here that we have our statement of activities, which is in essence our income statement, breaking that income statement out to items with donor restrictions and those without donor restrictions. The items with donor restrictions then are going to be broken out we need them to be seen both in terms of their function as they're showing here what they're used for program and uh, and fundraising and so on and we also need to see them by uh, their their nature which is what we would typically think of as expenses uh, the rent expense the salaries and so on and categorized in that way so we have them currently categorized here we're going to use the categorization feature to be breaking them out in this format so let's go on back in to zero we've done this uh we started this process we're going to be continuing with it we're going to be opening up our accounting drop down we're going to go on down to the income statement let's take a look at the income statement worksheet so let's open up the income statement worksheet once open then we're going to go back up top right click on the tab up top duplicate that tab then we're going to go back to the tab to the left and we're going to be opening up our uh, other worksheet hitting the drop down we want to go to the unrestricted uh, worksheet so let's go into the unrestricted worksheet so what we're going to do then is go back to the income statement worksheet and we're going to continue just simply allocating out our activities we had the depreciation last time we're going to continue in this column allocating it out to the unrestricted categories and then further breaking it out to the four categories of unrestriction now i think the easiest way to do this is actually to make a new tab each time so that we can drill down on it and then go back to these two reports so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back up top right click on this tab again duplicate it and then and then use our duplicated tab here to be drilling down on the information and then once we go back and do the next one we'll go back to the tab to the left so we're going to scroll down we got that 35,800 in the rent so we're going to go into the rent here then we will go into the rent again so we're going to go into this item little different format this is a spend money form but we can still just make the adjustment last time we had a journal entry so i'm going to edit the transaction let's go ahead and edit the transaction and then we're going to have the same process here i'm going to add four new lines and i'm going to replace this rent with the four categories so i'm going to say we need to add a new line one two three four and then i'm just going to make a whole new item so it's going to be six one one five and then whoop, that was supposed to be tab tab and then six one one five tab and then six one one five tab and then six one one five tab and then we're going to go into the unrestricted category over here. I'm going to choose our categorization. We're going to say admin 20%. Select the drop down again. We're going to say community service 20%. Select the drop down again. We're going to pick the 40% for the education. We'll do it again. And this time we're going to be picking the fundraising. Next, we're going to pull out the trustee calculator. Let's pull out the trustee calculator and do some calculations so we're going to say this is going to be 35800 times 0.2 20% that's going to be here so i'm going to say all the 20% ones then all the numbers on this side i've got to say 1 and then 7160 let's do it again 20% here 1 7160 and then down here i got to skip 1 and then 1 7160 back to the trustee calculator now we're going to take the 35800 times 0.4 Oop, that's not 0.4 so there we have it so now we're going to say one and then oh there's not a one there what happened to the one one and then one four three two zero so there we have that and now it should i'm going to delete this first item and it should still add up to that 35800 that's our check so i'm going to delete this and we're still adding up to the 35,800, so that looks good. So now let's go ahead and update this. So I'm going to say update. And once updated, then I should get a green icon up top or some green stuff, meaning it's everything looks good. And I hope that's what it means. And then we're going to go back to the prior tab and let's update this tab. And it should now appear here in the unrestricted column. So now we have the unrestricted column. It's no longer over here. It's an unrestricted. If I want to see more detail about the unrestricted column, the 20, 20, 40 percentages, and then we're going to go to the first tab 
and update that one. So we're going to update that item and then scroll down and there we have it. So the rent at the at the 7160 and so on and the 14320. And so if I go back on over to the rent here in our worksheet there, I think that's right. So everything looks good. I'll, I'll review it a little bit more closely <laughs> later, but everything looks good so far. If I make a mistake, uh, you know, we'll pick, we'll pick that up later. I'm going to go back over. I'm going to, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to delete this tab and then I'm going to right click on this tab, duplicate it so we can do it again and, and not have to close these reports. So we can use that zoom in or drill down feature without having to close this report. And then I'm going to scroll down and pick up the 2225 for the wages and salaries. I think there's going to be two items in this one. So if I go into this one, then it's consisting of two items, right? One was the adjusting entry. Now you might want to duplicate the tab again so that so that again I can drill down onto here and then go back to this one instead of instead of having to generate the report again and drilling down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the tab again, right click on it, duplicate it. I'm going to drag this one to the right this time. So these two tabs are the same, but this one, that way I don't have to wait for it to basically populate itself. I could just go, okay, now I'm going to go right into the 209, 460, and we're going to apply the same process going to the options drop down. We're going to edit the transaction. Same process. This is a spend money form. So I'm just going to add four lines. One, two, three, four, and then I'm going to uh, put the account numbers first. Let's do that's going to be 6680. Account number 6680. Look how much easier it is with the account numbers. The account numbers actually help this process a lot because if you're typing in the words and you, you were in a software that didn't have account numbers, then you know you can easily pick up the wrong account. Uh, and, and so I've done that before quite a few times. It's kind of annoying, a little embarrassing. And then we're going to select the drop down. We're going to say this is going to be the 20%. This is going to be the 20%, second 20%. This is going to be the 40% for the education. This is going to be the fundraising. Then we're going to pull out, of course, the trusty calculator. Why? Because we're doing some calculations. And that's going to be the 209, 209, 460 times the 0 0.2. So all the 0.2 ones are going to be down here. I'm going to put... Uh, one and four one eight nine two and then we're going to go down to this 20 percent one one and four one eight nine two and then we're going to go down to this 20 percent one and say one and four one eight nine two and then we'll go to the 40 percent calculation which is going to be two oh nine four six zero times point four and uh, that's going to be the eight so we're going to say one and the uh eight three seven eight four the one didn't show up let's do that again one and then that and then there we have it now we're going to delete the top line, the 209460, and this should then add up to the 209460. That's our double check. So I'm going to delete this line, 209460. So then I'm going to say update that one. And that should be good. So we should have allocated that one out. Now I'm just going to simply delete this tab. I'm going to delete this tab. And then if I go, that'll take me back to this tab, which had the two items on it. I'm going to refresh it now. I'm going to update this report, and that means one of them should go away now. So one of them went away uh, from here because there's no longer in the unrestricted category. So then I can do that again. I can duplicate this tab. I'm going to right-click and duplicate it so that I can go back to that report and see that it should disappear. I'm going to pull this one to the right. So these two tabs are the same, but this one's already refreshed. And then I'm going to go into the 16,800. So let's go into the 16,800. I'm going to go into the journal. We're going to say we want to edit this. And then this one's a journal entry, but same process. So we saw a journal entry before. No problem. We're just going to take the first number and repeat it. So the first line, the debit, 6680, tab, 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 tab. 6680, tab, 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 tab. 6680, tab, 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 tab. 6680, tab, tab. And then we're going to go to the unrestricted. We're going to say this one's going to be for the 20%. This one's going to be for the 20%. The other 20%. This one 40%. And then we're going to have the fundraising at the uh, fundraising 20%. Then we're going to pull out the trusty calculator and do some calculating. So we're going to say 16,800 times 0 0.2. 16,800 times 0 0.2 is going to be that 3360. So we're going to say 3360. 
tab and then this one we'll say 3360 and then this one down here we're also going to say 3360 and then we're going to go back up top again and we're going to say this is going to be 16800 times 0.4 and then that means that this one's going to be for the 6720 Oops, forgot the six i didn't forget it i totally hit it but the keyboard didn't work right so there we have it so then i'm going to say we'll delete the first tab and this one should still add up to that 16800 so I'm going to delete the first tab, and there we have the 16800, so it still looks good. So let's go ahead and post that. So we'll post this out, and then if we scroll back up top, we're going to say there's a green, so we're good. We're going to close this back out. I'm going to then refresh this report, and once I do, this thing should disappear. So I'm going to update this report, refresh it, and then that one disappeared like we've expected. And then I'm going to close this back out. Now we're going to update our worksheet report. Let's update the worksheet report. And now we have that item is now allocated to wages here. So now it's in the correct column. If we want to break the detail out for that column, let's go to the first tab and then update this report. So we will update this report and then scroll down. And there we have the wages broken out, the 45 to whatever, and then the 90. Let's double check that to our worksheet. So if we go to our worksheet here, we're going to say this is going to be for the salary. So there it looks proper, looks good. I think everything's good there. Let's do it again. We're going to go back on over. We're going to go back to our worksheet tab. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to duplicate it. Then I'm going to take the tab on the left, pull it to the right so that we have the one that's already refreshed and, and ready to go. And then I'm going to go into this 21.6. This is for the provision for the uncollectible pledges and we will allocate that one out in a similar fashion. So then we'll scroll down. We're going to be picking up that 21,600. Then we're, this is a journal entry, so we're going to edit this one. So I'm going to go, all right, let's go to the journal, and let's uh, go ahead and edit this one. Once again, the debit is the one we want to uh, be editing. So I'm going to add four new accounts for that 70, so 7060, tab, 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 7060, tab, 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 7060, tab, 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 7060, tab. And then we're going to put our categories. So we're going to select the categories. We're going to say 20%, selecting the category at 20% and then selecting the category at 40%, and then selecting the category at 20%. Then we're going to pull out the trusty calculator, and we're going to take the 21600 times 0.2, and that's going to be then here at the 4320, and here at the 4320, and here at the 4320, and then we'll Take the trusty calculator again, 21600 times 0 0.4, 8640, and that's going to be the 8640. There we have that, closing up the trusty calculator. This side then, once we delete the first item, should be 261216, so I'm going to delete this. There we're at the 216216, looks good. So we're going to say, post that please. And once posted, we should get some green indication that it's done. So we're going to say, that looks good. Then this one, up, uh, this is going to be our worksheet. Now I'm going to update the worksheet. And we should have this pullover then to this column. So that looks, that looks good. Now we're going to break out that number to the unrestricted. So we'll go to the unrestricted worksheet and then update this one. And that item then is broken out for the provision. So that's going to be the 4-3, the 4-3, and the 8-6. So let's go back on over and say, okay, so the provision down here, 4-3, 4-3, 8-6, and so on. So I think that looks good. All right, now let's go back up top. We're going to go back to the other worksheet. I'm going to copy it, right-click on it, and duplicate the tab. Right-click and duplicate. I'm going to pull the tab to the left, to the right. These two tabs are the same, but this one has already been refreshed. Now I'm going to go into that 12,900, which is going to be the printing and the postage. Same process. We're going to scroll down. We're going to go into that line item. We're going to go to the options. We're going to go to the edit the transaction. We're going to add new lines. One, two, three, four of them. And then we're going to, is that four? I missed one somehow. 
I hit it. The thing didn't work right. 6230, tab, 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 6230, tab, 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 6230. And then we're going to pick the categories, which are going to be unrestricted at the 20 category. We're going to be picking the 20% category. We're going to be picking the 40%. And then the fundraising, we're going to be picking the 20%. Then we're going to pull out the trusty calculator. We'll take the 12900 times 0 0.22580. So we're going to be picking that up uh, here. Let's pick it up here. 1 and then 2580. And then here where we're going to say 1, 2580. And then down here where we will say 1 and 2580. Then we'll calculate this again. We're going to be saying 12900 times 0.4. And that means here we're going to say this is 1 and 5160. The, the one didn't go again. So there it is. And now we're going to delete the first one. And once we do that, 25H should then be that 12,900. Let's delete that. So there it is, 12,900. Closing this back out. We're going to then update our report here. So we're going to update this. It should show a green item up top. So we can then close this out. And then we're going to update our report here. So we will update our income statement worksheet. And we see now that 12,900 now is in the correct column. And then if we want to break that out, we're going to go to our, our worksheet, our first tab, update that tab. And then if we scroll down we see the breakout for uh, this one being the printing and postage. So the 5160 and the 2580, that should tie out to our worksheet here, printing and postage. So I think that's right, looks good on my very quick glance. And then we're gonna go back to the first tab or the, the second tab, right click on it, duplicate it, duplicate it. I'm gonna pull the tab from the left to the right so that we're, gonna, we're working on the refreshed tab. We're gonna pick the next one, which is this 2600 that's in the unclassified column. We are going to then uh, pick up that 2600 for, we'll go up to the options up top. We're gonna edit it. So we're gonna edit the transaction. We'll add four new rows. One, two, three, four new rows. And then we're going to be entering the number, which is gonna be 622, whoop, 6220, tab, 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 tab. 6220 tab 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 6220 tab 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 6220 tab then we're going to be taking the categories which are going to be 20% next category is going to be the 20% next category is going to be the 40% next category is going to be the 20% we'll pull out then the trusty calculator Calculating the 6200 times 0.2, which is going to be the 1240. So we're going to be here. We're going to say 1 and 1240. And then here we'll say 1 and 1240. And then down here we're going to say 1 and 1240. Back to the trusty calculator. 6200 times 0.4. You might be like, why don't you do that in your head? And say, no, I'm just calculator. I'm going to go 1 and 2480 and so we're gonna go here one all right so there's the 6200 once we delete that first line that's what the bottom line should be so we'll close this first line 6200 let's close the trusty calculator and then go down to the update we're going to update this one then we should have a green icon showing up up top that looks good let's close this one back out then and then we're going to go updating this report so we will update this report scroll down and now we've got uh, two more to do this to but this one went to the 6200 so let's go to the first tab then scrolling back up to top and update and then we'll scroll back down and now we have the telephone broken out one two two four zero and the two four eight zero so back over to excel we've got the telephone uh there it is that looks good minimizing this back out back to the second tab we're going to right click on it, duplicate it. Then we're going to pull the tab from the left to the right. Then we're going to go into the supplies in the uncategorized column for the 5,000. Next, we're going to go down and go into, there's two of them now. So I might want to duplicate this tab again. So I'll go back up top and duplicate the tab again, pull the tab from the left 
to the right and that way uh, we could see them disappearing in this column so i'm going to go into the 500 here so we'll go into the 500 options drop down we're going to edit the transaction we will then add new lines so four new lines two three four new lines and then we're going to say that we want the category 6250 tab 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 6250 tab 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 6250 tab 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 6250 tab then we're going to go and apply the uh, amounts the 20 percent well the percentages the categories the 20 percent the 40 percent and then the 20 percent then we're going to pull out the trusty calculator we're going to then take the 500 times 0 0.2 that's going to be 100 so we'll say 100 here uh here one and 100 and then right down below it we're going to say one and 100 and then we're going to go down here and do the same thing and say one and 100 and then of course if we take the trusty calculator 500 times 0.2 uh actually we're looking for 0.4 which would be you know 200 times 0 0.4 200 let's put that one here we're gonna say one and two hundred so one one and two hundred now i'm gonna delete the first one and these should add up to 500 then after i delete this first one so i'm gonna delete that 500 looks good let's update that let's close up the trusty calculator let's wait for the green thing there's the green thing so i'm gonna then close this tab and then once i refresh this tab it should populate down here so i'm gonna update this tab and then it will populate for us down here and it means it disappeared we're going to do the same thing for the second one now so here's the 4500 we're going to go ahead and edit this so we're going to go this is going to be a bill same thing we haven't seen this form before but it looks it looks a whole lot like money the spend money type form right and then i'm going to go down here we're going to add another line we're going to add another line we're going to add another line add another line we're going to add the four the accounts same account six two five zero tab 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 six two five zero tab 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 six two five zero tab 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 six two five zero tab categories being unrestricted column twenty percent admin twenty percent community service forty percent education fundraising 20 percent pulling up the trusty calculator we're then going to take the 4500 times the 0.2 and that's going to be the 900 the 900 we're going to put here whoop not, not there that's not where it goes it goes here one and 900 and then here where we will say one and 900 and then here we where we will say one and 900 then i'm going to go back up top again 4500 times 0.4 where we will say here one and one eight zero zero so then we'll close up the uh, trusty calculator i'm going to close this or, or delete this first one which should result and it won't result until i put a one here and this one down below being four thousand five hundred so i'm going to delete this four thousand five hundred looks good update wait for the green thing up top so the green thing should happen up top at any point now any point okay i think it recorded i'm going to go ahead and close this i didn't get a green thing which is i'm kind of disappointed i like the green thing but i'm going to update this report and see if it see if it works so we're going to go on down and we're going to see here that uh, the office supplies are applied out i think that's the one we were on so everything looks good so i'm going to go back to the unrestricted tab update this report let's update this one and we should see the breakout of the office supplies so then if we go down the 2000 1000 1000 and so on check that out to our excel worksheet over here if we go to the excel worksheet for the office supplies looks like pretty good looks good there let's go on, let's go on back i'm going to go back to our income statement worksheet let's do it again we're going to right click on it we're going to duplicate it we got one more to go i'm going to pull the tab from the left to the right these two tabs are the same now we're going to go down to this 2000 or that 9100 in utilities utilities this is the last one we get to do so we want to savor the good times of this one because this is the last one then we're going to go down we're going to be picking up that uh, 9100 it's going to be a spend money type form which we have seen already we're going to select the drop down we're going to say i want to uh, edit this form so we're going to say edit the transaction and then we're going to be putting in the accounts again so we're going to say i need four new lines one 
two, three, four. And then we're going to put the account 6240 tab 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 6240 tab 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 6240 tab 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 then we're going to put the account here i'm going to select the drop down 20% going to admin another 20 community service 40% going to the education and finally we have the other 20% remaining going to the fundraising pulling out the trusty calculator and we're going to take that 9100 times 0.2, and that's going to go here. So we're going to put that here. We're going to say 1 and 1820 tab. And then here, where we say 1 and 1820 tab. And then here, where we say 1 and 1820 tab. And then calculate it again 9100 times 0.4. And then we're going to go here and say that that's going to be 1 and 3640 tab. All right, now I'm going to delete the first line. And once we do, we should be left with that 9100. So let's delete that one. There it is. Looks good. Update this one. Wait for the green thing. I hope I get a green thing this time because this is the normal form. Yeah, there's a green thing. So I'm going to close it back out. And then I'm going to update this report updating this report and we should have then the proper allocation so all this whole column is gone now that was the objective and now it moved over to this column which is good so these are the unrestricted items so now of course these two columns are resembling more the statement of activities column down here which is the statement of activities so we have these two columns now note that in this one we broke it out in the statement of activities by uh, by function because that might be easy for, for someone to see on the board of directors. You could, you, we're going to need either way. So the goal is to get something that's going to be easy for someone to kind of read. But notice the software, zero, is going to record it first by nature. Because that's just typically the case. So we have a similar worksheet, but we have it by nature, uh, basically here, with one column breaking out by nature. And then we're still going to need the other report which is going to break it out both by nature and by function. So here it is by nature, rent, utilities, and so on, and then by function, program, and then admin and general. So that means we have it here just by unrestricted. So they're here by unrestricted. Then we're going to take these categories and break them out into their unrestricted four categories, that being the education community service, those being the two programs, which we will total up, then admin and fundraising, then our totals over here. So remember, these two columns on the right are just calculating the total in two different ways. This one's just picking up the four categories. This one's summing up with a formula. So that's why they're the same number, but they'll give you uh, more detail. Also note that it's nice because this column then is one that we can drill down on to the data, whereas this one is not because it's simply a formula calculation. This one is actually being driven from the data bottom up. So if I want to drill down on, say, all of these items, I can go to this column and drill down on it within our uh, worksheet so then we have this this broken out and then uh, if we see the totals then the totals for for the all the columns on this worksheet it's going to be the expenses are at 312 160 and if i go back over here 312 3 uh 321 260 i think i 312 hmm Okay, and the problem is that I didn't refresh the report, so I got a little excited to jump into it and didn't refresh. So I update the report now, and then the utilities one, which is the last one, then appears down here. So now if we look at our totals, we've got the 321260, which is going to be matching up with the uh, 321260 over here. So that's going to give us the more detail uh, on, the, on those items. So you can see how these two worksheets will basically work out. Now again, later on, we're going to take this from a worksheet program and, and make something this will be our internal kind of worksheets that we want to make so we got our check numbers over here and everything it will make a similar type of worksheet for the external reports uh, within our our system we'll take a look at that in a future presentation that's going to be it for now let's get out of here